2024 Republican presidential candidate and Miami mayor Francis Suarez found himself in an awkward position during a radio interview on the Hugh Hewitt show. He was asked a foreign policy question about China, but he appeared completely unaware of the issue. Listen to how it went down. Will you be talking about the Uyghurs in your campaign? What, the what? The Uyghurs. What's a Uyghur? You gave me homework, uh, Hugh. I'll, I'll look at what a, what's it, what did you call it, a Weeble? The Uyghurs. <laughs> you really I'll need to know about the Uyghurs, Mayor. You got to talk about it every know. day. I will, okay. I will. I will talk about. I will. Fo I will search Uyghurs. I'm. I'm a good learner. I'm a fast learner. CNN Chief National Affairs Correspondent Jeff Zeleny is here with us. Also, notably, a fast learner. Uh, Jeff, <laughs> not a good look for uh, Mayor Suarez, uh, but he has issued a statement. He issued a statement um, claiming he didn't quite hear. Uh, Hugh Hewitt on the radio this morning, but he did go on to say he's well aware of the suffering of the Uyghurs in China. Of course, this is a persecuted uh, minority group in China, which uh, you know is widely discussed. It's a hallmark of a U.S. foreign policy. China, of course, a central part of any presidential election. When you're running for president, you're running to be the commander in chief. It's a job application, and today he failed, no doubt. Uh, he's not the first and only candidate, of course, to make missteps like this. It's why running for president as a mayor, as opposed from federal office, can be more difficult. So look, it is a one-off, but it's hard to imagine that he will be able to uh, sort of move beyond this in the sense of being a serious uh, candidate. Um, if he makes the debate stage, of course, things like this obviously will come up. But he uh, said Weeble, of course, Uyghur uh, is the term. Yeah. Uh, on to two other Republican candidates, perhaps perhaps the top two in the field, uh, Donald Trump and Ron DeSantis, both of them holding dueling campaign events today in New Hampshire. Uh, they were, and that, of course, also created some controversy. Uh, the former president was speaking to the uh, Federated uh, Women's uh, Republican right. Organization of New Hampshire. Uh, governor DeSantis scheduled something at the same time. So this uh, women's group said that, look, the governor should not be essentially trying to compete with attention for this. Beyond all of that, though, I, thought, I think the substance of what the governor said was actually quite interesting. Mm. He went after the former president about draining the swamp. He said he will not, um, the swamp, he said, was not drained. He said he will break the swamp. So that was sort of interesting as well. And he also was standing behind a backdrop that says restore sanity. That is a new uh, phrase that he, a new um, billboard, if you will, or so for the uh, DeSantis campaign. But for Trump's part, he did not uh, specifically go after a DeSantis. But look, they are head-to-head uh, -head in competition. But Trump uh, certainly has a stronger showing in New Hampshire now. Is it likely that they're going to cross paths at all? It's not. Okay. Uh, they you know, will speak around each other, sort of uh, to each other, but they're not expected to cross paths. Uh, surprising that DeSantis is going to take on that women's group, which is venerated in New Hampshire, especially as he's so far back in the polls. 